Welcome back to another edition of A Couple of Drinks with the Clarks. Tonight's feature, Appleton Roman. <laughs> hey, welcome back. Oh my God. Know why I said it like that? These are Jamaican rums. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us again. Uh, my name is Matt. I'm Patty. <laughs> she giggles. So tonight we're going to talk about some really cool stuff. Everybody's been, no, not everybody, but most people have been to Jamaica and drank the rum. Okay. You know, what you do is you go up to the bar because, you know, you go all inclusive. And you say, give me something strong. And you swim away. <laughs> Next thing you know, you're going in a circle. Um, so anyway, what we have here is a reserve blend from Appleton Rum. And they also make... A signature blend which is the next step below and then we also have something some, this is my my favorite this is Appleton's uh, estate 12 year old rum now the deal with the 12 year old rum is light it on fire no one <laughs> you're not gonna light it on fire <laughs> well, we're not doing Statue of Liberty shot. rum I've never yes. done this before either I don't listen it's all new rum. here so the deal with the 12 year old is is the rum that's in there it has to be at least 12 years old so there might be some older stuff they even make a 50 year old rum that is wicked expensive but it's it's fantastic uh but with the signature blend uh that is not here the signature <laughs> blend they, they're they don't really have an age statement on it uh they're anywhere from three to four years this is an average of six years for the reserve so we're going to try the reserve first and so then six year and then a 12 year well they don't say six year because you know okay. it's a blend okay that's why they call it their um reserve blend so, okay so we're so gonna sip we're rum we're gonna sip some rum tonight yes absolutely oh, goodness. okay no listen um mm. yeah listen it's the way the glass is okay so these cool glasses i got from my buddy brett they are awesome yeah he okay. has the molds too. So anyway, I um, have to think that we should probably be starting these segments a little earlier because <laughs> I'm starting to get a little shaky by one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hi, my name's Patty. Oh. So, um, so remember we talked about tequila mm -hmm. the other the few episodes ago? Yes. How they use mm -hmm. bourbon barrels mm -hmm. to age their tequila. Same thing goes with rum. These guys use. Uh, special select bourbon barrels to age their rum. So, cheers. Let's uh, give this a whirl. Cheers. Cheers. Love you. Love you. Mm. Now, I was worried about mm. you liking this because I taste like cinnamon and nutmeg. You hate those things. I don't like cinnamon, but I don't taste cinnamon. Okay. I taste vanilla. Beautiful vanilla. There's vanilla. There's caramel. I taste caramel. Mm -hmm. A little spice, like all spice almost. Mm-hmm. I do taste that. I love that. The, 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 uh, so what would you, if you wanted to mix this, because I don't so see we're, myself we're gonna, just sipping we're gonna make rum all the day, classic. So. We have in here, through the magic of television, we have a uh, daiquiri, which is basically rum, lime juice, a little bit of simple syrup. Shake, shake. Rum, lime, just a little bit, okay. Yeah, which I used the uh, reserve blend. Mm. The signature blend is very mixable as well. These two, the signature blend is not here, and then the reserve blend, those are both really awesome for uh, mixing, okay. uh, making cocktails. Uh, you can make a Cosmo, you can do, rum is so versatile. The nice thing about it is, is our palates love sweet, hence the reason why we drink Coke and Pepsi a lot. Mm -hmm. But rum has like a, a natural sweetness because it's made from byproducts of molasses and sugar cane. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's aged and it's it's just fantastic. So let's... Uh, mm. Now let's when move When we were on. in Jamaica, you could just get sugar cane just right off yeah. the... And yeah. Just yeah, Greg was walking around with Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with one in his, in, his, in his cigar. So anyway, so this, so is, this the... is the 12-year. Okay. I'll drink the rest of the oh. room. You're, you're complaining about my pores. Mm. All right. Mm. Um, when they make the daiquiris, too, they would take that and they would, like, 
put a whole like inch of it on the top of your daiquiri too, and you'd yeah, be like, woohoo! Yeah, floater. Floater. And then you'd batten down the hatches, I eat. <laughs> down by the beach. On everything I read. Yes. Okay, you ready? Yes, I'm ready. I love this stuff. Oh, you smell a difference? There's like an orange peel smell. Mm -hmm. There's like, yeah. I smell orange. Oh, yeah. I do smell that. There's like caramel spices again. That is way smoother. Oh my God, yeah. Well, well yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Like it doesn't even, but it has a back end little, mm. a little, a little spice in the back end, yeah. Okay. Now it's not like funky, like spiced rum. This is from no, the, this is from spicy. the barrel. And it, from, I taste like the, just like, I don't know, the molasses like, type. Yeah, yeah, maybe something like okay. that. Like, yeah, molasses. Now, what's cool about Jamaica, and and it's different than everywhere else, uh, to be considered Jamaica rum, it has to be made on the island, distilled on the island, and aged on the island. So, um, and mm. also use um, bourbon barrels. The cool thing about Jamaica is when they're aging. The aging process, because they're so warm, the aging process is almost like three times faster than anywhere else in the world. So, for your skin too. <laughs> yes, make the sure you sun eats us. Make, make sure you use sunscreen. <laughs> you remember that I, day where you said, "Oh, it's it's overcast, it's cloudy, I'm fine." Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Burn to a crust. So when dinner, are we gonna try like that having, daiquiri? It was like having a lobster. When are we gonna try dinner. that daiquiri? <laughs> All right, here we go. Now this daiquiri is just basically the classic daiquiri, which is rum, lime juice, simple syrup, and shake that baby up and enjoy. What I use I feel like is- like right in the island. Yeah, I'm on. What I like to use, I like that key lime juice. Love it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nice. nice. Very nice. Nice, simple, very easy to drink. Um, okay. Like we talked earlier, most of the stuff we're talking about is very readily available in stores. These might be a little ask um, for the money, though. Something that's aged 12 years usually is way more expensive than this is. Um, this this rum is fantastic. This is definitely a put it in a snifter, sip it, put it on a, you know one ice cube, whatever. This is awesome. This is, you can make cocktails for it. Check out the website. Oh, and geez, one major thing I forgot to talk about is the Master Blender. She, she is the first female Master Blender in the entire world. Her name is Joyce Spence. She takes care of it, and she's been there for 30 years. That's awesome. So, Appleton Rum, it kind of flies under the radar, folks. Do yourself a favor. Go out, try some. It's awesome. Very easy to drink. Very mixable. Throw some, you know, Coke uh, with a lime. The old Cuba Libra. <laughs> I was going to say Chupacabra. <laughs> That's because I watch all those cryptid shows. You've been making me watch those stupid Bigfoot shows. <laughs> it's a Chupacabra. It's not a Chupacabra. It's a... Now I can't even say it. It's, it's a Cuba, Cuba Libra. Libra. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, cheers. All right, cheers. I love it. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs>